Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this Diagnostic World video. In this video, I'm going to give you a pretty short um, but maybe a little bit detailed demonstration of the iCarsoft LRV 2.0 or version 2.0 as it's also known. Uh, right now we are in the cockpit of a Land Rover Discovery. Um, so this this kit does work on Land Rover vehicles and Jaguar vehicles. It's just, you know, this is what we've got available at the time, the Land Rover, so that's what we're going to do the review on. Um, the kit and the tool is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com and I'll put the link to this kit in the description below this video. So you'll see uh, that on the dashboard here we've got a series of warning lights these have all been simulated by ourselves just to show you the tool actually working so we've got the airbag light the check engine light and the traction control and ABS warning lights these are typical warning lights that any uh, Land Rover or Jaguar owner may well come across in their ownership and this is the tool itself so it's I wouldn't say stylish, but it's you know it's it's form over function. It does exactly what it's required to do. We've got a, a slot for an SD card in there. There's a cable which goes in there, and that's how you connect it to the PC to do uh, updates. And we've got a, a serial port here, which this goes into. Now the other end of this serial port is plugged into the diagnostic port on the vehicle. So what I'm going to do is just simply plug that in and then screw up the ends. And you'll see we've got the menu system pop alive. So, um, what we'll do first of all is, I think we'll go to the uh, the airbag fault. Um, well, first of all, I'll show you on the, uh, the screens what we've got here. So this is the diagnostic section. It's not touch screen, you use everything by these buttons here. Uh, you navigate by these buttons, sorry. Um, so this is how we'd go in and diagnose your faults. These are special functions, I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, this just simply gives you the battery voltage at any given time. So it'll give you minimums and maximums and live data from the battery voltage. Um, this is just a quick way to check an engine fault. Uh, this is to review the data you've done. Uh, diagnostic trouble code lookup, so you can look at any diagnostic trouble code. Um, setup of the tool you know you can turn your buzzers for example you know it's got like beeps for every time you press the button I prefer to have that off um, and different software information about the tool so um, with regards to the service click into service and these are what they call special functions for the tool um, so it'll allow you to do your oil service reset electronic park and brake uh, battery new battery registration uh, electronic throttle control steering angle sensor DPF brake bleeding and injector coding now one important thing I need to tell you about the, this particular menu system here is that it works on selected vehicles so you might have for example a DPF which needs to be regenerated. It may work on one car, but it might not work on a different car. So, uh, what I'd recommend, I'd highly recommend you do, is just send us a quick email. The email is at the bottom of the um, the card there, and we have access to all of the data sheets and uh, quick access to the information as to whether it will cover a specific function on a specific vehicle. So that said, we'll go back into the diagnostics and we'll start diagnosing and clearing some of these faults. So we're going to click onto Land Rover and it's going to ask us to select our specific vehicle. So we're in a Discovery, it's a 2010, it's a diesel V6 3 litre and we're going to manually select the system. So first of all I want to go to the SRS, that's the airbag system, and it's going to ask us to read fault codes. So we've got three fault codes there, B1212 with a bit of information, B0050 with a bit of information, B0028 with a bit of information. All actually relating to the same fault. Um, we simply unclip the connector underneath the driver's seat, but we put it back together, but obviously you can see the airbag light is still on. So to get rid of this, and this is no different to the way you would do it, if you found a fault and you fixed the fault, you would click on clear fault memory and then click OK again and watch the airbag light turn off when I press this button. There we go. 
airbag light has gone, array is operation done. So that is the first of three faults that we've got. Um, next up I think we'll go to the check engine light. So the check engine is uh, this one here. And it's probably causing this red triangle as well, but we'll double check. And we'll go diesel three liter. So this is the engine system. And it's giving us a fault with a mass or volume airflow circuit low input, P0102. So again, we simply unclipped a map sensor, or a MAF sensor, should I say, um, started the engine and obviously the fault has come on. So we've clipped everything back together. So we just need to click on clear fault memory. And again, once I click uh, enter here, keep an eye on the check engine light. There we go, that's gone off and also that one's gone off as well. So far, so good. And now we come to these warning lights here. This is the traction, this is the ABS, and this is the exclamation mark. And that is well, also an exclamation mark, which normally accompanies these. These are known as the three amigos. Um, it's the ABS warning light. So if you've got a problem with an ABS sensor or a problem with your traction control, it's probably a sensor somewhere along the way. So once you put a new sensor in, for example, use the tool, come into ABS, same again, read fault code. That's telling us there's a fault with the rear right wheel speed sensor. Wheel speed sensor is an ABS sensor. So again, we just simply unclipped that. We put a, we've clipped it back in together, but obviously we're still getting the warning lights as if to simulate a new ABS sensor going in. Clear fault memory. This one's gonna be a little bit different because um, depending on some vehicles, um, the lights will go off straight away for the ABS system or the um, you may need to restart the engine so this one we're going to click on to clear fault memory okay so now it's saying array is operation done but all of the lights are still showing on screen or on the dashboard should I say so if we come completely out of this and what I'm going to do is just simply restart the engine so I'm going to turn it off and then when I turn it back on, everything, all of the warning lights, they'll come on initially, but then they should stay off. There we go. All of the warning lights have now gone off. <clears throat> and it's all thanks to the iCarsoft LR version 2.0 kit. It's a fantastic tool. Um, like I say, if you just go into this, say for example, this is the Discovery, it's a Discovery 4 from 2010. So I'll click on to DPF. Uh, Land Rover and it gives me the uh, the information to go through and select my vehicle if I wanted to do a DPF regeneration so it's given me different options depending on what I, what I need to do and same with like the likes of the oil reset But I'm not going to go in and do these functions right now because uh, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but this vehicle doesn't actually need these functions carried out or these services carried out. But it's nice to know that they are there should you need them. So as I say, it's a great tool to have to own. It's available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. Uh, as I say, I'll put the link to this kit in the description below this video. It is suitable for Land Rover vehicles and uh, Jaguar vehicles. You know, for all of the main systems like engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, uh, suspension, parking sensors, and a, a lot of other systems that are installed within the vehicle. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. I hope it helps. Any questions, send us an email at this email address um, or go onto the website and there's a quick link on how you can contact us via the link on the website. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.